Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Afrozen. <laughs> Today we're being reading for the air signs. Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell to book a private reading with me or shop in my store. All that information is in the description box below. Let's get into it. All right, air signs. What's going on with the air sign? <clears throat> Somebody could be a John. <laughs> John is a Philly slang for person, place, or thing, okay? You can use John in any type of way. So let me give an example of a person. Hey, that John look good, or she look good, she a John, he a John. They look good, right? Uh, person, place, place, like, yo, that joint was nice, the environment, the place, the atmosphere, right, and then you have thing as well, like, let's say a pen, yo, that joint right, you're real nice, that kind of way, all right, so joint could be used for person, place, or thing, okay, um, someone's name could be Jawan, someone's name could be Jawan, you could be dealing with a wine, J J U A N. You could be from New Jersey or traveling to New Jersey. You could be from West Jersey. Somebody's about to wing something, wing it. Something may have been won or worn. W O R N. Something has been worn. What has been worn? So we have, okay, this is a lot of cards. Thank you. This is a lot of cards. Nah, it's a lot. <laughs> okay. So we have an Aquarius here. All right. Something with pregnancy, it could be an actual pregnancy or it could be you birthing something, okay? So you need to trust the process. Family is in reverse, so family may not help you. There's dark energy here and someone is broke. Yeah, it's something with children. Something's hidden with a child. So it could be a hidden pregnancy. Someone is bipolar, have anger issues, okay? Someone, okay, someone is hiding a pregnancy and they don't want to tell family, okay? All right, family seems to be very, um, they're not supportive. So you have a new love that's coming in or you, you're in a new love. Okay, we have Ace of Cups here. Yeah, so if you're newly pregnant or just found out that you're pregnant, first off, congratulations. I feel like you might be hiding this pregnancy because you don't want family to know because family is very dark or dark energy. Um, you could be an Aquarius that's going through this at this moment here. You may be broke at this moment. Or it could be broken. More so emotionally broken. But you do have an Ace of Cups here. This Ace of so you do have an Ace of Cups here. Um, with new love. So I feel like, honestly, I feel like someone has gotten pregnant on purpose to feel loved. And I feel like they felt like the only way to feel love is to have a baby. Okay. You are cre you are carrying a star child, all right? Um, 
Like, yeah, I just feel like you're on your own and you just do everything by yourself. And I feel like you feel it was time for you to have a baby. And that's fine. Ain't no judgment. I'm just telling you what I see. But we do have the Ten of Wands here. So if you are doing it by yourself, if you can, if you have friends or any other outlet that can assist you, especially with your emotions during this pregnancy, it'll be very ideal um, to make sure you have someone um, that can assist you with this because you don't want to go through a pregnancy, especially by yourself and, and, and with very stress levels or high stress levels. So we do have the four of swords here. Your spirit is asking for you to make sure that you are taking some time to rest yourself or relax yourself. Okay. Things that you cannot do, try not to like, don't worry about it. Like go with the flow that everything is going to work out in my favor. Okay. You may have a lot of low energy with the, the page of swords. Or sorry, page of wands. Yeah, because could be in your first trimester, second trimester, or going in from your first into your second trimester. I forget it's been so long since I've been pregnant, child. I want to say I think 12 to 13 weeks. I think it's like the next. I forget it's been a long time. Sorry. Um, now, I have to tell you what's getting ready to happen. So you may lose your job or you may have already lost your job. Everything is going to work out in the way that it needs to work out with this tower here, okay? You've been asking for a new job. You've been complaining about a job that is not enough money. Um, you know, maybe your hours were cut. But we do have the nine of swords here. Like I said, you have a lot of insomnia or a lot of fear. A lot of burden, emotional burdens as to how things are going to work out, okay? It's going to work out fine with the nine of pentacles. It is going to work out fine. So I just need you to, to be okay with knowing that the universe or your team, or whoever you pray to has your back, okay? Because you're coming in with the seven of, seven of cups. You're going to have a plethora of different choices or options for you to select when it comes to a job you may actually have a work from home position as well too that's going to fall into your lap so try not to stress out okay because stressing is not good for you and especially not good for the baby at this moment okay now we do have the eight of swords and the tower came back out so yeah you're feeling very trapped because you know your family doesn't help you your family talks about you in a very vile and a very negative way you're doing it all by yourself um yeah and this is what's stopping your manifestation you're in alignment you are in alignment or you can be in alignment, but you have to change the way that you think and the way that you feel because your manifestation is in reverse, okay? But like I told you, there's nothing to worry about with the cosmic power here, all right? So you're going to receive some blessings, unexpected blessings. After you cried, cried your beautiful face, cried your eyes out. That's okay. Cried out, boo. Cry it out, okay? Acknowledge everything that's going on and then you're going to release things that no longer serve you, okay? That's quite all right. Use your intuition. You, you may be coming into your, your path, your spiritual path, or you may have like an aha moment, okay? That is spirit working with you. Listen to your intuition because I'm telling you, it's going to take you far. Places that you wouldn't even think you can get into, pregnant and all, all right? We're not trying to be angry here, okay? Make sure that you're not angry. You're not allowing people to knock you off your square here. So I have to be honest here, this is the ghost card and I do feel like you are at a high risk of miscarrying because you're carrying a lot of stress and especially if you're allowing like your family members or other outside influences to come in and to, you know, um, start to affect your emotions. It's not only going to affect you, it's going to affect the unborn child, okay? So um, that is something that spirit is worried about. So you have to really make sure that you, if, if you can ignore, block, however you need to do to get your peace. The monk or the nun to get to this peaceful state, you're going to have to do it. So that means getting rid of family members, getting rid of friends, co-workers, however. But you, you're you going to have to start um, learning how to love on yourself and do things for yourself, okay? But you are bringing forth a, a very powerful baby here. It's a, um, this baby is a star. I saw it somewhere. You, 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 yeah. I'm hearing boy as well. So you're going to be bringing in a boy. Yeah, we have magic and we have independence and peace. Yeah, so you are very magical because you got to be in a peaceful state. Okay? And you have to learn how to live live life out loud unapologetically. Yeah, you're pregnant. Yeah, but you're going to make the best of it. And you're going to do what you need to do to take care of you and your baby. That's all. You got this, boo. You got this, boo. You got this. Yeah, you need balance. You need to have empathy towards yourself. Fuck other people. And that's what's going to make you grow. Don't worry about nobody else right now. Worry about you. Worry about your unborn baby. Make sure you get this baby on Earth side. Safe, sound, and very healthy, okay? Because you have a lot of envy around you. You have a lot of envy around you, all right? 
a lot of envy, a lot of confusion as well. You're going to have to step away from the noise so you can hear yourself speak. All right. But other than that, you're going to be fine, boo. All right. You're going to be dealing with a Leo. Might be dealing with a Sag. Might be dealing with a Capricorn. A Scorpio. And a Libra. If that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Until next time, air signs. Peace.